So I was playing Yoshi's Woolly World on my Wii U the other day and noticed that I really like how the gamepad feels compared to using Switch Joy-Cons in handheld mode. If only there were a way I could control my Switch with the gamepad. Well, you read the video title. So today, I'm going to turn my Wii U into a Nintendo Switch. Will this make playing games in handheld mode a better experience? I don't know, but let's get started. Starting off, let's explain what I mean by turning my Wii U into a Switch. I'm not smart enough to replace the gamepad screen with a Switch, so we're gonna use homebrew apps instead. I'll be using Moonlight, Sunshine, and all these other things to make this possible. Moonlight is a homebrew app that streams your PC to your Wii U, and Sunshine is a computer app that allows your Wii U to view and control your PC through Moonlight. But how will I see my Switch screen? That's where my capture card comes in. I have an Elgato HD60X capture card, which is known for its low preview delay, meaning that when it's connected to OBS, the inputs I make on my controller show up in OBS in less than 30 milliseconds, which isn't noticeable in casual games like Mario Kart. So if I stream my PC to my Wii U with OBS open, it should show my Switch screen. But before we test that, we gotta set up Moonlight and Sunshine. To get Moonlight, you will need a Wii U running Aroma Custom Firmware. With that, you can open the Homebrew App Store, search for Moonlight, and install it. Keep in mind, you can only change the Moonlight settings on your computer, so if you're planning to do this, make sure you have a way to access your Wii U's SD card. To get Sunshine, I went to their GitHub, linked in the description, ran the EXE, then opened Sunshine. When you open it, it will take you to a website where you can configure everything. The only thing I did was go to Network Options and enabled UPnP so I didn't have to set up port forward. While on my computer, I also opened command prompt and typed in IP config because I'll need to type my computer's IP into Moonlight later. Oh my gosh, guys, don't hack me. Speaking of Moonlight, let's turn off my Wii U, take out the SD card, and put it in my PC. With my SD card inserted, I went to Wii U, Apps, Moonlight, and opened Moonlight.com. Inside here, I typed in my computer's IP where it says IP address, yes, yes, I know, I'm a genius, and changed this option to false as the gamepad has the same button layout as the Switch. Get back in there! So now if I run Moonlight on my Wii U and click connect, I should see my computer screen on my gamepad. By the way, please make sure to like the video if you haven't already as it's free and helps out a lot. And it also gives you good luck, so it's a win-win situation. All right, so let's open Moonlight. Now that we're inside Moonlight and it says that we're connected to my IP, what I'm going to do is click B to pair. All right, anyways, uh, click B to pair. Oh, no. All right, so we're gonna click B to pair. We're gonna click B to pair. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to give you this pin. So what you want to do is on your computer, reopen Sunshine. And then you got to log in. So hopefully you remembered your username and password. And inside Sunshine, we're going to go to the top left where it says pin and enter what it says on your gamepad. And then once you click send, you can look down on your gamepad and it will say successfully paired. And now that it's paired, if I click A to stream, we should see my computer. Oh my goodness, let's go, it worked. I honestly didn't think it was going to work with how things were going, but now that we have it working, I gotta find out a way to get the controls working. With that working, it was time to figure out how to control my Switch with the Wii U gamepad. I'ma be real with y'all, this was my third time doing something like this, so I already knew what I had to do, but let's pretend that I just found out how. So after years of researching, I came across the super unknown applications. X360CE, VGM Bus, VDX, and SysHit Plus. Thank goodness I found these apps, cause I was about to give up. On my Switch running Atmosphere, I opened the Homebrew App Store and installed SysHid Plus. We're also going to need my Switch's IP address, so to get that, go to Internet Settings and look where it says IP address. On my computer, I downloaded the three other things I mentioned, as well as SysHid Plus from its GitHub. So now that we have everything downloaded here, I'm first going to extract the X360CE folder, and then I'm going to extract SysHid Plus, and then I'm going to run the VGM Bus EXE so that we can install the driver. And I already have it installed. Sunshine should automatically install VGM bus but in one of my other tutorials when i downloaded sunshine it didn't install vgm bus for some reason so i had to do it this way so if you see the same screen as me that means you already have it and you can just click cancel but if you see a different screen just follow the directions on it so that you can make sure it's installed and what we're going to do is open the x360 ce folder and then inside here you should see an exe so we're going to run this and after we run the exe it's going to create more files create there we go and inside this folder you also want to drag the vgm client and vdx.exe so inside X360, we're going to go over to game settings and make sure that VDX shows up. And there's no controller being detected right now. But once we reconnect to Moonlight on our Wii U, the Wii U gamepad is going to show up in here. And when it does show up in here, we're going to open VDX, but we're going to do that later on. And now we're just going to make sure that SysHid Plus is set up correctly. So we're going to open the SysHid Plus folder, open this folder, and then run the SysHid Client Beta EXE. And inside here, there's no setup required. All you got to do is type in your Switch's IP address. And the order of what we're going to do is open X360 
360CE, open VDX, connect the gamepad, and then we're gonna open Sysid Plus and then click connect to Switch and everything should work. With that tomfoolery set up, I docked my Switch, made my OBS preview full screen, and it was time to see if my Wii U gamepad could control my Switch. All right, so I'm going to reopen Moonlight on my Wii U and connect to my computer. It better work. If it magically stops working, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, there we go, we're connected. And now that we have Moonlight open, we're gonna go back to my computer and open X360CE and it should detect the gamepad as a controller. So let's wait for that to load. And there we go, it's detected. So now we can just click next and then we can click finish after it's done. And now that it's detected in X360CE, if I move my left stick, it should move the left stick that we see right here. So let's test this out. And there we go, it's working, that's awesome. Is the right stick working too? Yes. All right, so now that we know that that's working, what we can do is open vdx.exe and what it will show is that our player one is connected. So now we can click connect on here. And now in X360CE, it will show that we have a new controller connected. So all we have to do is do what we did last time. So just click next. And then after both of these checks show up, just click finish. And now the very last step to be able to use my gamepad to control my switch is to open Sysid Plus and click connect to switch. And how we'll know this works is when I click connect to switch in Sysid Plus, we should see that in the bottom left, a pro controller icon pops up because that's what the controller is pretending to be. So I'm going to put this into full screen again. And I know you can't see this, but I'm going to click connect to switch and hopefully this works. All right, here goes nothing. Connect to switch. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 we see the pro controller icon. So now that the pro controller icon popped up, if I move something on my gamepad, it should hopefully control my switch. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. It works. Let's go. Now that I could control my Switch with my gamepad, I wanted to see what the gameplay would be like. So I hopped into an online Mario Kart 8 Deluxe match. All right, here we go. First race of the day using my Wii U gamepad. What are the odds I get first place on my very first attempt? I don't know. And honestly, this might be my only attempt because this is way too laggy. But you know what? At least the controls are working and at least I'm able to use my gamepad. But I doubt I will ever use this again. You know what though? I have a valid excuse now. I usually don't have a valid excuse and I have to be like, oh, the game is rigged. But like, look, like, well, look what I'm using, guys. And I took the wrong turn, but it's fine. All right. What place is this star going to take me into? Probably not a good place, but you know, you never know. Here's what I'm hoping, right? Even though this race isn't looking too well for me right now. I think I might be able to pull off a sneaky first place if on the last lap I just get extremely lucky for some odd reason. So we'll see if I'll be able to pull that off. Don't fall off the edge. That was very close, but we didn't fall off. We're all good. All right, let's go. Uh, I was worried that Goomba would hit, not even a Goomba, that Swamp would hit me, and then I just drove off the edge. Wow, we're in 11th place. All right, you know what? Does that mean you're going to give me a bullet bill or something now? Or, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. What's it going to give me? A golden mushroom? You know what? I'll use it before someone has a lightning. So let's just spam this. Don't fall off the edge. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that thing going to crush me? Oh, of course it did. It's so rigged. Of course it only fell when I was near it. All right. Guys, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting first place this race. This is so hard to control because of the slight delay. And honestly, it's not even like a slight delay. It's the biggest delay ever. And then everything keeps lagging. This is terrible. But there we go. 10th place. All right, here we go. Second race of the day. I'm all warmed up this time. So I'll definitely get first place. Trust me. Why is that Yoshi on the left keep jumping? What is he so excited about? Is he excited that I'm going to lose? I mean, I mean, win? Yeah, yeah. He's, that's what's happening. All right, let's do this. I will power through this laggy controller with the worst input delay ever and somehow get a first place. This is so hard to look at. And I don't know why there's so many frame drops. Like the Wii U is more powerful than a 3DS. So you would expect that Moonlight on here would perform better. But maybe it's just not a good application for the Wii U's hardware or something. I don't know. Or my internet could have gotten worse, but it hasn't been that long. It's only been a month, so I doubt my internet would have just randomly became bad. You know what, though? Compared to the last race, we are doing better. We're in sixth place right now and on the second lap. Can we turn that sixth place into a first? Maybe. Three red shells? I'm going to use one of them. Save these other two until I get another item box near me, and then I'll use the rest of them. All right, there we go. Oh, my gosh. I keep going off on the edge. I'm telling you. This input delay is crazy, guys. I don't know what's going on. Blue shell. That could help out a lot, actually. Okay. Fourth place right now. Third place right now. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. Can I get a first, though? That is the question that everybody wants answered. Oh, not a shell. No, I was actually doing decent. And everyone's passing me. I guess there's a shortcut in the grass over there I just don't know about because I don't know about any shortcuts. Because I'm the world's worst Mario Kart player that I drew off the edge. All right. Well, you know what? I was actually doing decent for a few seconds there. But whatever just happened there is going to completely sell the game. Okay, this could work wonders though. Is this a shortcut? I think that's a shortcut. Okay, you know what? Looks like we will be getting fifth place. I'll take it. It definitely could have been better, but you know what? No, we'll, we'll take what we can get.
is that the same? I don't even know. Thank you for watching me turn my Wii U into a Nintendo Switch. And if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more modding content. Bye.